This next story came from a community meeting that we had in the Island View neighborhood in Detroit, along with our partners at CDAD, which stands for Community Development Advocates of Detroit. Several people talked to us about the concept of neighboring and how connecting with the people they live around makes them feel safer and makes them feel more invested in what's happening on their street and where they live. So where is that neighboring happening? We found it at a new coffee shop and laundromat that also acts as a free community gathering space. On a sunny Friday morning on Detroit's east side, just along Mac near Van Dyke, you can't miss the commons. Its crisp construction contrasts with the mini mart and a vacant lot across the street, a subtle sign of change in Island View on Detroit's east side. We're here to go. Uh, we're here, it'll be great. Step inside, you find the bright, steady hum of a neighborhood coffee shop. Behind the counter, Dawn Coffee, yes, she's aptly named, is brewing up her already semi-famous caramel lattes to the neighborhood recycling guys on break, Daquan Ferguson and Jonathan Maxwell. It ain't Maxwell House, it's a, uh, it's a caramel latte. Can't mess that up. Caramel latte. Caramel latte. And they make the best lattes they make the over best here lat on the east side. On, yes, on the east side of Mac. They, they, they are the truth. Starbucks, watch out. <laughs> There's a mix of studying students that all new coffee shops with free Wi-Fi and a comfortable vibe attract. That's Milana King with her new baby, Violet. She lives just around the corner at Mac and Seneca, been there for three years. Just every time I come here, I see people I know and all sorts of different people. Beyond the counter, you realize the Commons isn't just a coffee shop. There are rows of pristine washers and dryers, ready for Marcus Holmes, who stays down the street and came for the first time on this sunny morning with a bag of laundry. This is nice. Can't get no better than this. So where did you have to go before to get your laundry done? Well, I was doing it at the house, but my washing machine is messed up, so I take it on my alley. Well, my girlfriend's house. So you'd have to kind of travel around with it a little bit. All the time. The Commons is a new neighborhood spot created by Mac Development, a nonprofit formed just eight years ago by the Mac Avenue Community Church to improve life in the 48214 zip code. It's a unique start at creating a space, meeting need, and linking a changing community. We're running a big experiment. Um, if we're honest and we're taking a risk on behalf of our people and saying, hey, one of the things, we think people really want to come together they just don't have enough opportunity to do so where everyone can feel welcome. Ezekiel Harris, or Zeke, is Mac's executive director. He explained how Mac members went door to door in the Island View neighborhood to ask people what they'd like to see in this space. Asking people actually, what do you want here? Um, instead of kind of coming and doing that top down approach where we tell people what they need, we're like, no, no, no. Uh, we know in the long run, it, everything that we do will be more successful based off of talking to people. And so they said, okay, a coffee shop, that's something that, I mean, everyone can get behind. But then putting in a combination laundromat, but that was really out of need. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it, it was funny because I think there was a bunch of different conversations that were had um, that led us here um, to where someone was like, hey, why don't we put them together? Um, and, and that process, I think, was all based on like, okay, how do we get people together? How do we, how do we meet needs of uh, people where they are? And how do we, how do we uh, really promote dignity? Because uh, we know, like, specifically around the laundromat, there's not, a, there's not a laundromat within three miles of our location. So when we thought about people getting on the bus, with their dirty laundry um, and having to travel. We didn't think that was a very dignified experience. Um, and so we wanted to bring that into the neighborhood to provide that at a, at a high quality um, location too. The building, originally bought with 500 bucks, ended up with a $1.5 million renovation thanks to fundraising and donations. For coming to this community. The grand opening in May, a community celebration and block party that not even the rain could dampen. Free coffee and food trucks and a varied group of faces that reflect a changing community. But how do you connect people from different backgrounds and different experiences with respect and understanding? Connections with neighbors can make people feel more invested, more a part of where they live, something that Dawn, who lives close by, sees from behind the counter at the commons. They socialize. People that would never talk to each other before 
they get put in a situation where they sit down and then you see them communicating. And then you hear them say, oh, well, I've lived over here for 30 years. And they're like, well, I've lived over here on this side of Mac for 20 some years. And they've lived six, seven blocks from each other. They've never met. So Dawn, explain to me then how that makes a community stronger when you have that kind of connection. Because if everybody, D Detroit is made up of so many pockets. So everyone stays in their own little world. They don't get a chance to find anything out. And you see the people and you're like, oh, they live in Indian Village, they're wealthy, they have it together. And the people from Indian Village, like, they're poor, you know, they're, they're trouble, and they're gonna bring drama. And then you put them in a space like this and they talk and they get to know each other and you go, wow, oh, you, you're normal. And well, you're normal too. And then you build a, a unity. Building unity, a sense of neighboring or trust doesn't happen quickly or easily. Do you think that the commons kind of helps that whole neighboring concept? Absolutely, absolutely. Because if you have a drive-by conversation with your neighbor and then again, see them in a more calmer environment here over a cup of coffee, then you can say, oh, hey, I saw you doing yard work. How's that going? And it's easier to like have a space to start a conversation and spend more time together. Mac Development is also waiting for the Commons to be a signal for more small businesses to take a chance on Mac Ave. There's already a lot of development coming to Island View. That makes longtime residents wary. Zeke says the next focus is to work with developers to be in tune with the neighborhood. That's really important for the residents who are here already trying to address their needs first versus, uh, okay, what do, what do other people from outside of the neighborhood want to see happen here? Um, and so we're, we're really starting to push on developers and saying like, hey, we love that you're here, but we don't want people to be pushed out as a result of what you're doing. Therefore, um, start having those conversations very early around like, what, it, what is my positive impact and what is the negative impact of my development? It's a lot to consider in Island View. But as Zeke said, an experiment worth watching for other neighborhoods around the city as well. I feel good about it. It's bringing it back. It's, like I said, it's about time. It's about time they bring the, the Detroit back. Mm -hmm. I love it. And I'm a proud of it. You strengthen a community by bringing everybody together because you can't expect government officials, you can't expect people to come in and just make something happen. You have to actually say, hey, I live here too, and I want to see something better over here. And it starts with something like this.